go back to our ship now, I suppose. And we'll uh, take that woman back to the groundbreaker. So, let's go to the unreliable interior. Boom. Oh, we're back. Is she, like, on the ship? Can I, like, talk to her now? Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? Pfft, why do we have the woolly cows here? This happened, like, one other time, too. Yeah, look at that. There she is right there. Re receptionist Kelly. I thought about hiding in a crate, but they all smell sort of funny. I wonder why. I wonder if this is supposed to happen. <laughs> I did not think I could kill her, but <laughs> oh my gosh! Hold on, let's see if I can load it. Where are we at right now? Oh, we're about to tra Okay, okay, this is about as good as that uh, auto save is going to get. So hey, at least we didn't kill her. Oh, I wonder if the cows are in here again. Nope, they're not. What does she have to say now? This change of scenery sure is something. Can't wait to see the groundbreaker. Well, you're glad you didn't see what happened in that alternate universe there. I wonder if uh, Parvati has to say anything about her. Uh, the new member of the ship, at least temporarily. Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he like? Why'd he make the computer a talkie? You think he got lonely, flying about on his own? I just assumed every ship had a, had an Ada on board. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I don't think I ever talked to any of the companions about Project Gorgon, or whatever. I think it's your time to move along, Parvati, sheesh. Uh, did you learn your trade from your father? It sounded like it whenever you talked to Reed. You met that animal. You met that auto mechanical clanking around the ship yet? Oh yeah, I think I already talked about that. I guess we could talk to her about Gorgon. What does she have to say about this? How many places just like Gorgon do you think Spacer's Choice has got? Weren't he Cleo's? Gets my guts in a twist just thinking about it. You poked around the unreliable. I would find any record of Lucky Montoya. Now I guess I can talk to her about any other information about Lucky Montoya there, uh, Parvati? Not a word. And I've been sticking my nose in every one of our stately ladies' crannies, stem to stern. Oh, law. That sounds untoward, don't it? Uh, that ain't, uh, that ain't what I meant. Point is, Captain, Mr. Hawthorne left all kinds of scribblings behind panels and under consoles, but ain't a lick of it mentioned Mr. Lucky. So whatever they got up to in the past must have been really extra secret. And lots of fun. <laughs> Let me know if you find anything. Yeah. I, I'm like, I could already f n I already know her feelings about the job, but I guess I could ask the rat. Yeah, let me know if you find anything. Sure thing, Captain. How are you feeling about the job right now? What we seen in human inquiry? I never really believed in good or evil, Captain, but I'm starting to. Most folks are just trying to get by, to, to do right for them and theirs. Sometimes that makes them do wrong. But forcing folks to fight each other? And throwing the dead ones away like they're trash? Like they were never really people? Ain't no reason in the soil or the void can justify that. It's plain evil. Yeah, that was kind of crazy seeing those like compacted, cubed, dead bodies. And I even think Parvati was there too. Yeah, she was there. I wonder if I didn't have her as a companion if she'd even mention that. Ooh. Hmm. Money could. The courts will do anything to get more, uh, more of it. I'm sure they didn't set out to kill people. Like they got over their heads. Given the opportunity, people will do whatever they can to win. These folks were criminals from Tartarus. They deserve what they got. Oh, sheesh. I could be a savage. I'll do number one, though. They'll do anything they can to get more money. That ain't a justification. It's an excuse. That's true. Nobody deserves what H.I. did to them. No matter what they've done. What about the other uh, options? I want to see sure what she has to say about those. Oh, whoops. Anything could happen. And ain't no one going to come to help us. Well, I guess I can't do the other options. It sure is lonely out here, on the edge of the colony. Oh, okay, that's all about Gorgon. Alrighty. You change your mind, you just... holler. You know, whoever wired this ship up... And break time's over. Alright. Oh. Is she gone now? Is she not a companion anymore? Did I do the wrong thing? I guess I'm fine. I guess that just means she's going to go to the... some other part of the ship. Okay. Okay. I was kind of worried there that she wasn't a companion. Hold on, let me check. I'm kind of... And this is, yeah, this is like the airlock right here where it like got electrified. That's kind of funny. Is she still a companion or what? Okay, yeah, she is. Okay. Whew. Just wanted to make sure there. Anyways, let's go to the thing over here and I guess we'll go to the... Uh, where was it? We're going to go to... That. Not the like Terra 2. We're going to go to Groundbreaker. We're going to go take that... I guess the docking bay is sure. We're going to go take that one receptionist over here to Groundbreaker and see what she says. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. All right. Now, what do I do here? Just go out with anyone and it's fine? Because I, I don't think I could choose her as a companion. Yeah, I can't choose her as a companion, so, so I'll just continue. Or maybe I have to talk to her. 
That's probably what I have to do. Hold on. Yeah, I think that's a thing. Yeah, we got Nyoka and Ellie. Yeah, I think you have to actually talk to uh whatever her name is, and then it'll be like, okay, we're on the unreliable, or well, we are on the unreliable. We're on the groundbreaker, so hey, get off my ship now, Hater. <laughs> See what she has to say. Before you pull. Wait, where is she now? You is she gone now? Yeah, I don't know where that lady is now. I guess she's gone now. She's not in here anymore, obviously. They're doing target practice. She wouldn't be in light of fire, right? And I just went all around the ship, and I don't know where she is, so I, I guess we're fine. Kind of want to load an autosave, though. Let's see where this takes us. And this one takes us... Where are we at right now? Is this the groundbreaker? It is. Is that lady still here? She's gone. Okay, I'm just going to assume that lady just, like, got off the ship here at the groundbreaker. Oh, I wonder if I could find her on the groundbreaker. That's probably something we could do. Hold on. I guess we'll go to the docking base and see if I could find her. Yeah, I don't know where uh, where she could be. I, I guess she's just gone now. So, I guess we'll go back to the Unreliable. And we'll go back to Gorgon. And we'll go to the chem lab and see what went on over there. I just went basically all around the Groundbreaker, so I don't know where she is. Uh, so, I'm like, she's not necessarily that... Like, we're able to actually kill her, so it's not really that big of a deal. She uh, is, like, somewhere else now, right? So, I don't really care too much about it. But uh, eh, I, just, I was just kind of curious about it. But. Either way, oh! Alright, that sounds good to me. Let's just go out with, uh, we had... I guess we can continue to have Nyoka and Ellie, but at the same time... I think I'll initiate an unscheduled rest cycle while you're out. Okay, go to sleep mode then. Alright. Yeah, I guess we'll still have, uh, Nyoka and Ellie. I don't think we had them for really too long when we're, uh, on board the oops, if you will. <laughs> The orbital. I don't know what kind of mess Spacer's Choice made here, but it figures they'd leave it to someone else to clean up. Yep, well, I'm not cleaning it up. It's just, oh, whoa, we were lying. Uh, yeah, I'm not cleaning it up. Do we have a uh, fast traveler over there? We do not. Experimental Perilous. Active quest. The near, most nearby. Oh, wow, look at all this stuff down there. I wonder if we could even interact with any of that. Sprat Shack exterior. We're going to ruin. So if we go there, we have to go here and then there. I assume there's the fossil we saw. Oh, I guess we have to go. Okay. I don't know if we can go down. If there's an elevator from there, that will go down. I don't know what that building is there. Huh. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking we might have to go to the OCI lower and then I'm like, it's not really that far to go from OCI lower to the fossil. So I guess going from the fossil to the chem lab over there shouldn't be too bad. So I suppose we go to OCI lower. That way we don't have to, I don't know if there's like an elevator that'll take us down from the other uh, location I just looked at, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal if we go from here all the way over to, yeah, about 500 meters. Nah, it's not going to take too long, I guess, but I, I, I'll pause the recording. Cut a little bit of this footage out of me just walking here, literally. Uh, oh, I guess if anything, I'll see once we pass the fossils here just a bit. If the people are still there, or if they actually left. I don't know if they can leave, because then their ship, like, crash or whatever. I guess I could go talk to them if they're still here and see what they're up to, but... I do not see anyone here. I think they're just gone. And yeah, here's that, that creature. Who knows how it heckin' got here and got fossilized on this heckin' asteroid slash whatever you want to call this. The sprats are like laughing and stuff. It's disgusting. Kill it! Killed it with electricity. Nice. See if I... I kind of want to test out the thing a little bit more. Let's test it out on a sprat. Let's test this thing out. What's this even doing? Is it healing? I don't know what it's doing. Uh, I assume it is. It says employee benefits. Yeah, I have no idea what it actually... It says it does actual damage. 95 damage, 190 DPS. It's taking actual energy ammo from me. I don't know what it's doing. It's not a science weapon, so it's not like shrinking this guy or whatever else the science weapons did. I have no idea what it actually does. Is it worth any good money? Ah, it's worth $2,000. That's a pretty good amount. <laughs> actually, uh, a decent amount for me to... Consider heck getting rid of uh, that thing for some money. I don't know. I'll have to look into it or something like that. But yeah, like I said, let me just pause and head over to the chem lab and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh, whoa, whoa. Got some enemies up here. Hold on. Marauder drug drone. Might want to take that down. That's probably going to buff the marauders here, actually. It's probably going to give them some arena time or something like that. So maybe try and take that thing down. Boom. Hit it a few times, take it down. I think the Marauders are probably going to be mostly uh, melee. Those are usually the ones that will... Oh, oh, that one's not melee. The Plunderer. There you go, he's down. Oh, there's... Hold on, there's another one there. Let me get him. Oh, I got him in the shoulder. I don't know if that, like, 
disarmed or whatever. Oh, there's another one back there. I'm going to take a... Boom! There you go. Heal us up a little bit. Oh, is there something behind? Oh, I hit a rock. That's what that was right there. Hit this guy with some N-Ray. Got to reload. Get him again. Boom. There you go. The Colossus is down. Crack shot. Got him, like, right in the butt crack. <laughs> there you go. Nice. All right. I think we did a pretty good job there. Now, yeah, we're still on the lower level. Is that the chem lab over there? No, it's... I really don't know what all this is. Because surely the... So over here was OCI. Yeah, and then over here's HIA. Here's chem lab. What is this? I don't know what this could be. Hmm. Maybe it has something to do a little bit later on in the storyline, perhaps. Some, like, giant pods over here, though. I kind of want to go look at them and see what they're all about. There's the uh, drug drone. Of course, it did have a dream time in it. As well as the rodders over here. They have some adrenaline time as well. well. This guy doesn't even have a head. <laughs> what about this one? Uh, where, where's the, uh... The Colossus? Because usually that guy has a pretty good... Oh, does he get... That's a crack shot. Oh, here's a Colossus right here. Yeah, he had some pretty good armor right there. Level 3414 armor right there. Whew. That's pretty crazy stuff. What else over here? Any more dead bodies for us to loot? Or like ash piles or whatever these guys are now. <laughs> Reload this. Yeah, this this gun's all right. I don't know how it compares to like maybe this one because I'm I'm liking it. This is like the plasma, like cannon or shooter thingy. Oh yeah, there are. I keep forgetting about the explosives and stuff over there. <laughs> and of course, if I get a direct shot with this, oh here's an elevator. Ooh. So if I was able to go from like there. The Gorgon Ruins to here, uh, there is an elevator down, so I, I could have done that instead of going to OCI, but whatever. I'll go over here anyways. So it looks like we have to go upwards a little bit more. Hopefully that's, uh, gonna allow us to go up. And, oh wait, hold on, there's something off. Look like there's something moving back there. What's this? It's like toxic? I kinda wanna go, oh, 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 yep, we're taking some damage. I was about to say, I kinda wanna go in there and test it, see what happens, but yeah. There's toxic sludge, there's like poison barrels there we can hit that will explode. Whoa! Why are we getting singed over here? What is all this? What is that? What does that sign say? This is where all those things are. Synthesis and manufactory. Ooh. So these must is this like oh whoa, whoa, another marauder plunderer right there. Is this like byproduct here or something? Let's even get these guys. Whoa. That was a great shot right there. Holy heck, that was crazy good. 3,000 damage on those hits. Hold on, there's one like right here. Colossus, he slowed down. We got him there for 3,000. Man, that is crazy how good this thing is whenever you charge it up and you get a direct hit. Even when you don't get a direct hit, you got 1,500 damage right there. Oh, another Colossus. 3,093, and he's getting like burnt up and stuff. Oh my god, that's crazy. And what else is here? What if I do this? Is that going to explode? No. Oh, is there, oh, there's still an enemy around here. Oh, there he is. Let's get this guy. I don't know if I can get a direct shot. Oh my god, I did. 3167 right there. Jeez. Oh man, I'm dying. I don't want to be. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Be careful. Whoop. Gotta do some parkour here to be careful. Make sure I don't take too much damage from this, like, waste product. Let's see what this robot has. Ah, just took everything right there. <laughs> Almost died, though. Plunderer here. Sentry. Another dead body here, yeah, like, oh, it's Colossus, yeah, I think we already knew that one, perhaps. I don't know. But yeah, this is where we just saw. I think we're, like, right there at that intersection. Killed some stuff there. Then, uh, there's some more stuff here. This is where the manufactory is. Did I loot all that? I think it did. And some stuff right there, too. Yeah, I might want to check my, uh, inventory, see how we're doing on carry away now. Because <laughs> I picked up a ton of stuff. What's this? How do I get in here? Can I get in here? Fast travel, hey, look at that fast travel location. To the SMC lower exterior. Was that again? Synthesis and Manufactory. That's what that stands for. Some ammo over here. Yeah, this does take energy. Or no, no. I think it. Is it still heavy ammo? Uh, no, it is energy. Okay, so that's good to know. It's technically a heavy weapon, though. But what is this? Emergency lockdown protocol in effect. Wait, did I not do the human inquiry and auditing thing? Because it says it uh, needs access from Chem Lab and HIA. Uh. I don't know if I need to backtrack or what, but, uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, that's not going to open up right now, but... Huh. But this is where we have to go after we go to the, uh... Hold on. Oh, I thought this is that... Yeah, I don't know what that is still, though, but... At least we're making some progress over here. But, yeah, it need to come over here after we go see what's going on in Chem Lab and, of course, activate the, uh... The thing over there. But let's go over there. Speaking of 
tech chem lab. Let's actually go over there now and not get distracted and go off bath and stuff like that. And this thing's fully recharged, which is good. We have plenty of ammo for this thing. Okay, so it, it does go upstairs a bit. Oh, oh, oh! Primal contagion! Oh! Yeah, I need to stop that. Yeah, remember, they, they were testing on primals here. So it does make sense there are primals just kind of roaming about. Let's see if we can get this guy. How much damage are we going to do to this thing? 3113. Oh, another pro primal what? Primal something there. Oh, oh, another. Hold on, hold on. What in the world is this? Oh, there's a primal behind us this whole time. I didn't see it. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Ow. There we go. Just hit her right there. I don't know. Ah, that, that killed me. Man. Yeah, these primals are crazy. Yeah, they're coming from behind us. I didn't even see them. Where did they come from? Like, there was not just. Oh. Hold on. What? Okay, this is like right before we got all this right here. Holy. Yo, those primals are crazy. Yeah, let me let me get back to where we just were. And I guess maybe keep an eye on our six o'clock and, and maybe make sure we get ambushed from behind from these mini primal things. And of course, those big primals. Definitely want to watch out for those as well. All right, we're here. No primals behind me. Are those things able to like, oh, whoa, whoa, stuff here. I'll take that. Sure, why not? Are they able to like jump and stuff maybe? I don't know. Now, if I charge this up, Primal Contagion, and I hit it with... Okay, it has 3,600 health. Should be able to take it almost dead with that. And this seems like it might be charged up. Oh, another one right there. Miasma? What, what did that say? Oh, it's down, it's down, it's disintegrated, that's good. Let's get this one. Is there one behind us? Oh, there's a... There it is right... Oh, it, it burrowed, that's what it... That's what they do. They burrow, then they get a little bit closer that away. I was about to say, they... Yeah, that was quite the tussle, huh? Yeah, they must have burrowed and then... Oh, oh, there's still... There's still some back there, I think. No, that's a dead body. Okay, that's good. No red on the minimap, though, so that's good. I think we pretty much cleared this out. Of course, we could have hit these explosives here. How much did I say it did? Is there another expo... Oh, there's some explosives there. I, I just want to see how much damage the explosives do. Ah, oh, I, did, I didn't see it right there. It got covered up by the 878 or something of the, uh, of the plasma thing, but... Primal Toxic Hide. Yeah, these are Primal to Toxic Primals. I get it backwards there? I don't know. Adreno's there. And that's where we just were. Okay. Now, I need to watch out for, like, Ash Piles. Because these guys got, like, disintegrated. This guy got his head cut. There's, like, a heckin' spinal cord right there. Ugh. Disgusting. What about over here? I'm pretty sure there was one over here somewhere, right? It's Primal Contagion. Flamethrower 2.0. What? Is that new? No, I thought, yeah, it's not new. It's not new. 1448 DPS. It's pretty decent. i put it on number three and we can test it out a little bit. I, oh, yeah, I, I remember having a flamethrower at one point. Not a flamethrower 2.0, though. What level was it again? 27? Yeah, we can get that up all the way up to 38, but, you know, we had money for that. I don't know if we have, like, 7,000? 7, 7,000 bits right there. We might be able to do it. I don't know if there's any more loot there. I guess we can test this thing out if we find more primals. To actually shoot with this, but uh, oh whoa, was this the place from the thumbnail? It might be the place from the uh, the Outer Worlds Project Gorgon Paralon Gorgon thumbnail that I have. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything here. There's like a lot of like space back here. What's this? It's for events, some sort of grates or something. Oh, we're frame droppage. Yeah, I don't know what all this is. I don't know if there's that. Oh, wait, no, oh, is there something back here? Oh, there's something. A few crates we can loot. Hey, look at that. I guess it pays off to look around. Oh, wait, hold on. We have a, uh... Whoa, whoa, we have Sprat there. What did that just say in my audio? Oh, it's just Sprat above his head. We have a, uh, a voice box thing. What? Oh, is this Lucky Montoya stuff? Did we just find it? Lucky? Whoa. Wait, where was that? Spacer's Choice. Remember, there's no such thing as luck, only hard work. Any ideas to the contrary will be discussed with your local OSI clergy. <laughs> now, is this from Lucky Montoya? Let's see. Chem lab. This place stinks like the wrong end of a primal. And I think I'm close to figuring out why. Something's off with this place. Those ain't normal primals. Thought I was onto something before. Now, I'm sure of it. I got a theory to test at that marauder camp. Hmm. So I wonder how far along Lucky Montoya was at discovering all the stuff about Adrena time compared to us. Are we ahead of him or are we behind him? 
Does he know more than us? I don't know. Let's try and go to the front of the chem lab to the oral scanner. Because, uh... Oh, what was the place? Yeah, OCI had the ocular scanner. Where it had to scan the eyeball, and we had that guy's, like, perfectly preserved eyeball. This one has the oral scanner to scan, like, you know, sound. That's why we have the recording of, uh... What was his name? Jasper Lowe? Doing the passphrase that was, like, 20 words or something stupid. Fast travel location discovered the chem lab upper exterior. Alright, let's go to the oral scanner. This facility is currently experiencing a heightened security event. Accessing this facility requires voice modulated passphrase. Please speak the passphrase. <laughs> I could sing. It's not the best choice. Now I'll play Dr. Lowe's audio recording so we can get in. We attest to the zest with our hand on our chest. Be impressed as our guest by what we finessed. You are blessed to ingest what we thoroughly test. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Fast phrase accepted. Access granted. Welcome, Dr. Jasper Lowe. Hmm, thank you. My name's Jasper Lowe, I'm, I'm also bragging, and I'm also Alex Hawthorne. Transition to the Compound Harvesting, Enrichment, and Molecularization Lab. I guess that's what chem stands for, I just assume chem because, you know, chemicals and stuff. Compound Harvesting, Enrichment, and Molecularization Lab. What in the world is going on in here? We're about to find out. And we're inside. The chem lab. With dead bodies right off the bat. Nice, I'll take all that. Optional, unlock the security office hall. Yeah, well, don't we have uh, access to that? So that, that makes sense of why that's an optional thing. What was the other one? I wasn't paying too much attention to that first bit. Uh, override the authorization, of course. Yeah, that's what we're here for. So we, we did it at OCI, we did it at HIA. So this is where Spacer's Choice's top lab coats made their wonder drug? Yep, looks like a mess. I don't know why it sounded like their audio was like messed up right there. Man, yeah, there's a lot of dead bodies here. You can tell the primals went, pff, dare I say, primal on all these guys. Repulsal? I think either one would work. <laughs> oh no, they broke the vending machine. Hey, no, never mind. They got a working vending machine here. Yeah, I need to offload a bunch of heckin' trash. We're at the 173. Weren't we in like the 80s or something like that before? Man, I gained a lot of heckin' weight here, you guys. I got some hammers here. Whoa! 613, 613. We have a lot of lucky. See, I don't know if I want to. I'll sell this. I'll sell that and sell that. We get like three of these pulse hammer golds though, so I guess I'll sell those. Got two of those, I'll get rid of that. And the carbine, I'll get rid of that. Definitely want to save that for robots, but of course we're probably not going to have robots here. If anything, maybe we'll have a couple, but I'm pretty sure we're going up against like exclusively primals. So yeah, that, that, that plasma thing seemed to be pretty good against the primals if, you know, when I'm actually, you know, prepared for them. <laughs> and then uh, I still don't know what this thing does. The employee benefits. I don't know if it's a good time to test this thing out on those primals. I think I'm just going to keep that right there. I, I, I guess maybe I can Google it or something like that and see what it says about that. But for right now, I'm just not going to use it. Then uh, let's see if we have any armor here. Yeah, of course we do. Yeah, we have like multiple of... Uh, I think I put up a set of the expanded heavy armor up at the uh, base. So I may be able to just sell this right here and I'll be completely fine with it. It weighs 15 pounds. That's quite a lot. I don't know if I want to keep that, you know. And uh, yeah, I'll get rid of that too. And get rid of all these, actually. I've got a lot of stuff I don't need. And of course, sell the junk. And we just sold about seven pounds of junk. Not bad. Nice. All right, well, we're at 118 out of 250 pounds. I don't think we have to worry about it too much. That's right. I take Adrena time. That's why I'm a marauder. See what marauder plunderer mechanical. Yeah, see, there are robots here, but they're dead. So I don't think we need to use that to. Uh... I've switched on the laboratory's security system. I trust the mechanicals will sort you out. Good luck. Oh, for... Could we skip the part where we trash the place? We've lived through a hell of a lot tougher than some rust bucket security box. That's gotta be our pal from the OCI, right? I'm starting to wonder what they're hiding. Starting to wonder? <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, okay, well, it kind of said, oh, there's going to be auto mechanicals or whatever. I guess it's like some sort of scanner doohickey. Well, and speaking of auto mechanical, just, they're dead. Seems like there's something out there, though, but, uh, yeah, he said uh, he, there's going to be, like, auto mechanicals or something like that, sentries. But, uh, th uh as far as I'm seeing right now, they're all dead, and 
I'm really just expecting primals and holy, they're giving me a lot of ammo there and they're giving me a light assault rifle mark three. Is that new? I keep saying that because uh, I don't have an I don't have one. Oh, wait, I have this, but it's like a special thing. It's Finn's force. So I'm not able to compare that really, but actually it, it does more damage. It's a lower level and it does more damage. This might be a technically a level two or yeah, mark two. This is a Mark Three. Ooh. So if I had something I can give that some some mod to give it like Enray or whatever, that'd be really good. It'd be a better version of Finn's Force. As a drop, don't want to fall. Actually, it's an elevator, so is there a way to call it? Oh, yep. Here we go. That might be the. Uh, is there a staircase here? Yeah, there was a staircase here. I'm stupid. <laughs> but that is a way to go down there. I don't know if I want to go down there though. Was that override? Uh, and then there's a security door there. Security door is a little bit further. I assume we're still going to be able to use that after the fact, but for right now, oh, oh there's a robot right there, scrap mechanical. I say uh, that's a Sam basically, and I kind of want to test out the uh, the shot cannon hyper. So I guess so that instead of the flamethrower, we'll have the shot cannon hyper on this thing. We'll see how how well it does. Let's reload. Kind of want to check TTD, see what it says. Five thousand health on that thing. Sheesh. But how good are we going to be going to be one on one with this thing? Oh, there's multiple enemies here, according to the minimap. There's one there, obviously. Are there any below? Oh, yep. Mechanical Guardian Mark II. I don't know if this is... Oh, well, we're going to be, like, behind it. Yeah, it's just kind of going around in a patrolling pattern around the central machine. Might be able to get a pretty good... Uh, oh, maybe if there's some explosives, we could hit those, too, but... Kind of, we'll just do some shock damage this thing. Oh, we're taking some hardcore damage, but he's going down. Oh, we took him down. Look at that. That's really, really good, you guys. He had 5,000 health and we ate through that that quickly. I'm like, maybe my companions did some pretty good damage as well. Pretty sure the other robots are downstairs. What is this? Something? Main lab. Ooh, can I go in there? Seems like there's some enemies in here. Some auto mechanicals? I think so. Sounds like a couple of them just walking around. Oh, yep, sentry. There we go, do some- Oh! And we got a combat drone there. Comet drone is down. It's shocked and dead. Oh, wait. Whoa, I thought this was a wall. It's not. Can't go sentry. Take this thing down. Get some direct hits. Boom, it's dead. Did decent job right there, although I feel like Nyoka's like big gun, whatever she has right there, which she just put up. Where's Ellie at? Is she dead? No, she's fine. Where is she? What? Oh, she was behind me. Okay. But yeah, I feel like this gun is pretty good. Maybe I'll, I kind of want to continue on with it plasma launcher thing. It seems really good, especially with a direct hit, you know? And yeah, this place is an absolute and utter mess. What happened here? Scientist is dead. Jasper Lowe's... Well, I'm like the... We know what happened here. There was the, uh, the pink slip protocol or whatever. That, uh, of course... Oh, well, that's a marauder, though. I don't know, I'm getting mixed signal here. Oh, wait, hold on. What is this? Uh, facial mask skin cream, but we have a terminal here. I guess we could read that here in some moment. But yeah, remember they had the pink slip protocol, they weren't like getting their job done as efficiently or as fast as the uh, corporate or whatever wanted them to do, so they got, they got the pink slip, and what that means is they unleashed the automatic articles on them to kill them. We have another terminal there, so that means nothing but heckin' reading ahead of us, you guys. Hope you guys are ready to read and pause if you guys really care about that, but uh, oh, a little bit of something down here, what's that? Focus soul capsule or something like that? Hmm. I don't know if they're, like, mixing some of their, like, existing things, like this focus soul thing, I assume it, you know, you focus from it, mixing that together with a, uh, oh, is that another thing? Oh, let's listen to this. Roscoe, it's Georgie. If you're hearing this, you must still be holed up at the Sprat Shack, and you're not gonna like this one bit. I was trying to steal our recordings when things went crazy. I know, I know. Like I said, sorry. And I'm gonna be in a heap of trouble if I don't get them, so if you want to save my bacon, you need to do it for me. I need the three interviews we did with Ambrose, this one here, plus another recording of my own. I left that last one with a guy who owed me a favor at the garbage processing office in the chemical waste ravine. I'll leave an automech near Stellar Freighting. It'll want all five recordings, plus a passphrase. Glacial H. Oh, and don't listen to my log, alright? Just, just stay safe and keep your head down. Wait, was that the waste exterior or whatever she called it? Was that the one that Lucky Montoya we just heard moments ago from Lucky Montoya? 
Is that what she was referring to right there? Oh, whoa, it's doing it third person, like, surrounding you, meme. So we need to get five of these, like, past, like, recordings. And glacial age is like a, a past phrase. Oh, I can't do this. Plasma launcher 2.0. Vented, uh, mag pick. Vented one pick. That would have been really good, though, but, eh. If we can't pick it, then I guess we can't pick it, right? But I wonder how many of those we have and how many we still need. It sounds like we have at least two of those. That one we just got because it said it needed that one. They just kind of left it behind. Sounds like we got uh, like a Montoya's that we found like in the sewers just a moment ago. So I feel like we're making some good progress with that. I feel like we're going to find a lot more of those like recordings all around the chem lab here, you guys. So let's definitely keep our eyes peeled so we don't miss anything.